card moments with Chris and Dave. Uh, it is Chris's birthday. And there's this Bible bookstore I've been wanting to check out. Driven by it several times. Just want to get to and get something for Chris for her birthday. A few moments later Okay Well, turns out that was not a Bible bookstore But they did have birthday suits Hello, today is September 23rd. Um, it's my birthday. It's a little after 11 in the morning and I'm um, sitting here kind of bummed waiting for David to get up. He's sleeping. Um, he was going to take me to Old European for breakfast and then we were going to go to the Huckleberry shop and so I could pick out a treat for myself for a gift. And then... Um, we were going to go to one other store to get a few things that, not really gifts, but things I wanted. So uh, a couple of things I kind of need. So that was our plans. But being that it's already past 11 in the morning and he's in bed sleeping, definitely not going to be able to go to Old European. Sorry about the clock. It's slow too. I have to wind it. But we're definitely not going to get to go out. For my breakfast for my birthday breakfast for sure um, we do have other things I mean hopefully the Huckleberry shop I think it'll be open late enough for me to be able to go pick out a treat there I'm also gonna go to a few places and pick up some goodies um, of course when you have a birthday if you sign up with different companies sometimes they send you things uh, Starbucks, I get a free drink, so I'll probably pick that up as while I'm out because I do like to get Starbucks as a treat sometimes. Um, nothing sugary, nothing full of caffeine, just I usually get an iced tea, um, the passion fruit because it has no caffeine, and then I get uh, vanilla syrup, the sugar free one, so it's no sugar either. So that's what I like to drink from Starbucks, and so I'll probably stop and get that. And then um, other gifts that I've um, received or will be receiving is we went to a place called Birdie's Pie Shop. There's one in, I think it's in Hayden, Idaho, and then one in Post Falls, Idaho. I've never been into one in Post Falls, but I go to the one in Hayden on occasion as a treat. So we went there the other day. They gave me $5 off of a personal pie, um, which the personal pies are $5. So basically I got a free personal pie. But what I went ahead and did, because I do like to get, they have uh, basically two types of pies. One is a dessert pie, you know, like apple pie, pumpkin pie, pecan pie. 
um, I picked out a uh, banana cream pie and then a peanut butter, chocolate peanut butter pie, like a Reese's peanut butter cup um, pie. So those are two dessert pies I had picked out. And then for and personal pies, not, not great big pies. But then I also picked out, um, because they have a deal if you, uh, that you can get like a meal pie and a dessert pie. The meal pies they have can be anything from like, um, uh, cottage pie or, um, shepherd's pie or, uh, chicken, um, pot pie or, um, the one I picked out was, uh, taco pie, which I had last year. It was the first one I had there and it's, it's delicious. I really, really like it. And then Dave picked out a spaghetti pie. Yes, it's spaghetti pie. So it'll be interesting because I've never seen spaghetti pie before, but um, that's the pie. So we are going to hopefully have those for dinner tonight. That's what we decided to have for dinner is our pies for our dinner, for my birthday celebration for dinner. And then um, and then I'd also got one other pie. So we ended up getting a total of five personal pies, but one of them was free. So the other four, uh, the fifth one I gave to Kaysen to, to give him a pie too. So he, cause he was with us when we went and got him. And then, um, so we have that. And then I had placed an order with Ulta. I do like to order from Ulta, maybe like twice a year. I order, uh, shampoo and conditioner and, and, and things like that. And I, cause I like to get them cause you can get the big bottles if you order it and then they deliver it. And if you order it after like $35 or something, the free shipping. So it's, so I just usually order it because I can get the big bottles and I also can get, of course they have a bigger selection online than they have in their store. I do go in their store. I've been in this store in Coeur d'Alene maybe twice. I, I'm not big on going shopping in Ulta. Not that I don't like it. I do like Ulta. I just don't, shop there very often um so i did order and of course i'll get a free birthday present with that order so but that's not going to get here until i think tomorrow or monday something like that so that's going to come after my birthday but i did get a little free birthday gift from them um and then other free little birthday gifts that um i'm trying to think because i mean I, I'm not going to get them all, but I mean, just other companies do free birthday gifts. Um, uh, so we might get those. We might not. If I don't need it, I'm not going to get it. But at the same time, if it's something I like, then I'll get it, you know. So or something I can save and use later, I'll, I'll get it And if, if, I'll, if I'll use it. Or if I know somebody who will use it, then I'll give it to them, pass it on to them. So, uh, that's basically what we have planned for my birthday today. Not anything really special, but it's kind of special to me. I don't normally celebrate my birthday. I do try to get Dave, uh, I try to get him, uh, you know, well in the past I would get cake and ice cream, but now I try to get him just like a little personal cheesecake or something with his diabetes. He, he can have treats on occasion just as long as it's not a daily or even a weekly thing so we do sell we do save his sugary desserts for um occasional treats and so tonight would be an occasion to for him to just kind of ignore the carbs and and just kind of celebrate with me so we'll we'll do that tonight um so yeah, I'm just, I'm not one who normally celebrates. I celebrate other people's birthdays, but I really don't celebrate my own. I don't, uh, my kids do wish me happy birthday. So I'm not, um, they, they'll text or call or, you know, whatever, to, but they will wish me happy birthday. They're, uh, I just haven't checked my messages and stuff. I've already talked to Casey and he's already wished me happy birthday, but, um, Keely's uh, probably sleeping right now because she works all night and then she sleeps during the day. So she's probably sleeping right now. But the reason why Dave is sleeping is because he, um, so we, 
when Keely's at work, we're dog sitting for her. And her dog is extremely hyper. He has, um, he, he's, I just, I joke about it, but it's probably real that he seems to have ADHD. He is a ball of energy almost constantly. And so this morning he decided that 3 a.m. was a good time to get up. That he was wide awake at 3 a.m. So Dave got up with him. And so Dave was up until I finally got up and I, you know, I told Dave, well, you know, come back to bed now, go, go back to bed. So he did go back to bed. Now he's sleeping. So he's, he's, cause he only got like maybe three, four hours sleep before Loki decided it was time to get up. So he's, um, in bed sleeping and I'll let him sleep because he's a very good husband. He gets up every morning with Odin to feed Odin. Odin wants to be fed at six o'clock in the morning. He's getting better. He does sleep in a little bit, but when we're watching Loki, it's, it, it, he just, Loki, uh, the night before I was the one who got up with Loki and I got up at probably about I don't know, midnight, one o'clock in the morning. And I was up with him until 5.30 in the morning. And finally he settled back down and Keely, um, she got off work a little after six. So she took him after that. But he really, it, it's hard for us to get a good night's sleep with Loki. Um, so uh, I will be honest, we are looking forward to them uh, not having to dog sit Loki anymore. Odin is such a mellow dog. He's so, um, if we go places, he just jumps in the pickup and just lays down and goes right to sleep. Sometimes he'll jump up on the bench and look out the window, but for the most part, he, he just settles right down and just relaxes or he'll just lay there. Sometimes he'll lay on the bench and look out the window or something, but he, but he's pretty mellow about it. He's very mellow. So, um, he's easy going just his biggest challenge is he when it's time to eat he wants to eat and sometimes his clock is a little fast and so maybe it's like five fifteen, and we're like no Loki. I mean no Odin it's it's not six o'clock yet he eats at 6 a.m and 6 p.m so um but he's chillaxed on the floor right now in front of me and um so anyway this is my birthday so far, just pretty much took my shower, got dressed. Oh, I do have a fall sweatshirt on. It's officially fall. I can now officially start wearing my sweatshirts and hoodies. Yes, they are a thing with Christy sweatshirts and hoodies. I probably have two dozen and I wear them daily. And I will probably be wearing one daily, except for when I go somewhere nice like church and weddings, stuff like that. But I'll probably have one on daily until the snow is completely melted next spring, summertime. And there's no more uh, snow on the ground and it's warm enough to not need one. So, but yeah, once it's fall, I put on my sweatshirts, put on my hoodies, and I live in them. In fact, Dave, every year... He buys me a hoodie um, or a sweatshirt. This is one I have on now. It's the one he bought me last year, but he buys me one every year. He gives me one on Black Friday uh, if it's Christmas one. So I do have some Christmas ones that I will wear uh, starting after Thanksgiving. I will have those and I will wear them. Uh, but yeah, he gets, he gets me hoodies and, and sweatshirts and then I buy them myself. I have them from all kinds of different places. Uh, Reno, Nevada, uh, Monterey, California. I have one from I Iowa. We took a road trip. I was cold. So we went into a, a truck stop and so I got a hoodie. So <laughs> not that I didn't have warm clothes, but I just bought one because it was there. So I, I have tons of hoodies and sweatshirts and, and I do wear them and I love wearing them. I will sleep in them. I will live in them pretty much almost all the time when it's cool enough. So, so happy fall. Welcome to fall. It's again, it started yesterday. So, um, I'm excited because I am not a summer person. 
uh, if the summer days are not too hot, that's good. But if they are hot, I am not a summer. I do not like the heat. So um, I tell people all the time, when you're cold, you can dress up more and get warmer. And, and people don't complain if you, you know, layer your clothes and put a lot on. But in the summertime, if it's hot... People complain if I strip down and start getting naked to cool off. So summer is the more challenging time of year for me. I know some people love summer and they can't stand the cold, but I am, I prefer the cold over the heat. So that's just me. Anyway, that's it for now. And I will see if I continue this video later if I get too busy. Take care. God bless. Later. Okay, so, um... It is about 1.30 in the afternoon now, and definitely we didn't get to go to Old European for my lunch today, for my birthday, or for breakfast, brunch, whatever. We didn't get to go because Dave was so tired getting up at 3 a.m. with my daughter's dog. Um, he was just so tired that by the time he got up and took a shower and got dressed, it was just too late. Sorry, it's kind of bouncy. We are in... Um, our pickup right now we're in the red pickup Clifford so <laughs> we named it Clifford because it's big red pickup and it's used mainly uh, primarily to haul dogs so <laughs> so Clifford is our dog hauler pickup that we bought a few months ago um, which uh, this way we don't have to haul the dogs in Meg and Meg doesn't get covered in dog fur which uh, once we get her detailed again, she will not have any dogs in her. So um, unless there's an emergency, of course, that's different. But anyway, so now, so we went to Walmart real fast to get something. Now we are going to Starbucks to get my free drink. And then um, maybe Del Taco is actually right next door to Starbucks. We may be able to go to Del Taco and get a couple of free tacos. So we will have to see how that goes. Uh, stay tuned for more video. Okay, so we just left Del Taco. Um, I did get my Star Starbucks drink. I got the Trenta uh, tea with no water and no sweetener and it has three pumps of sugar-free vanilla that's what I love it's nice huge size so I love that but that's the size I usually get so um, but it was free because it's my birthday drink we also got Odin a puppuccino he's in the car today he's, he's coming out with us to run our errands and celebrate my birthday um, right next door to Starbucks is Del Taco so we went there got a free got two free tacos which you get that when you download the app and you can save it you don't have to use it right away so I hadn't used it so I got two tacos for me and then Dave got himself a meal and then I also got for my birthday they gave me a shake so let me see if I can get this flip there it is so I got a free shake with my Del Taco um, it's a regular size shake but it's gonna be an awful lot for me to try to drink so yes, I'm going, which is kind of short for me. Usually I have three. So <laughs> so technically I could say I have three if I wanted to drink this, but that's David's. So <laughs> anyway, so that's what we've gotten so far for my birthday. And this is how we're celebrating Del Taco. It's not Old European, but we can always go to Old European another time. Just have a belated celebration and just do Del Taco. We do have more errands to run. We need to go to the Huckleberry store still. So we will go over there and see what goodies they have. I've decided that I'm gonna get not one, but two treats from the Huckleberry store. Uh, just because I'm just, until now, I've not had a good birthday today. It's, I the one time I wanna actually celebrate and, and enjoy my birthday, it's, um, it has not been enjoyable. But it is now, I am starting to enjoy it now, but just, you know, it wasn't enjoyable until now. So I decided that I had went to Walmart real fast to get a colander and some 
um, calcium chews because I'm low on my calcium chews. So I needed to get some more. So I went and got those real fast. And while I was there, of course, I was looking at the Halloween candy thinking, yep, I deserve chocolate today. And I'm not a big chocolate eater, so that was bad. So I'll see what they have at the Huckleberry store. I might find myself a treat just for having a bad birthday this morning. What's that? I'm buying okay. <laughs> there you go. Doing good, how are you? Good, thank you. So what are you doing? I'm going to give you a present. These are cute. Those are cute. Look at this guy, he's so cute. Look at him. <laughs> oh, he's adorable. He's very soft too. Really soft. Wow. There he is. Oh, he's very soft. Look at all these cute things. I was tempted at Super One the other day when I was getting my prescriptions. Uh-huh. They had Avenger Beanie Babies. <laughs> <laughs> Did I get you some? Are you sure you don't already have those? No, I have the pop-up, the pop Look heads, bobblehead things. That looks delicious. Yeah. Lemonade, hmm. huckleberry. I'd have to try it. Lemonade. Yum. Waffle pancake mix, hot chocolate. Ooh, choke cherry too. Choke cherry's good too. There's the coffee. Oh, huckleberry coffee. This isn't the same size bag you got last time. I thought I had a bigger one last time. Yeah, it's gonna be oh, what's next to it over here? Ah. Is that the bigger one? This is the big one. Okay. Huckleberry coffee. Yes. Yum. Okay. Well, they even sell it in whole bean, too. If you want a whole bean coffee. Grind your own? Yep. I used to have a grinder. I don't know what happened. Christmas is coming. Here's huckleberry herbal tea. <laughs> oh my goodness. No peeing off the porch. <laughs> no peeing off the porch. <laughs> that is cute. Oh, look at this guy. I'm tempted to get him for our tree. I, I, sir, I get the one that says Idaho. The one that says totally. I would get that one for our tree. So, Moosey reindeer? Yep. 
Yeah. I was looking at this one here. A son's prayer, dear God, make me the kind of man my daddy is. A father's prayer, dear dear God, make me the kind of man my son thinks I am. Aww. Aww. That is cute. How much is that? I don't get one. Oh, there's six. Hmm. Yeah. There's a huckleberry. The huckleberry? Like kind of, yeah. I've seen those plenty. There's the huckleberry ice cream. No trespassing thing. Do do Truffles, huh? Yes. There you go. There's summer milk, summer dark. dark That's the mixed milk one. And or white chocolate. Is that what you want to mix? Or you want just the dark? Or? Well, the yellow is the dark. Uh huh. This is mixed. The, so the pink so there's is. There's a dark milk. bag right there, and there's this a milk. This is dark. White. This is white. Is the pink one. No, you don't like the, the milk too much. The milk. Yeah, I'm not. <clears throat> Happy birthday. Aw, is that my card? <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to see if I remember a dog that looked like that. <laughs> Some pretzels. This one's good. That gourmet tea. Herbal gourmet tea. Mm-hmm. So decisions, decisions. Ooh, look at the dark pretzels. I know, I saw those. those the nice. white pretzels. And... Mm. So. Whatever you like, whatever tickles your boat. Well, if I go this route, uh, have... these are the dark, right? And these are the white. No, the white is the the, the, the the purple is the milk. And then this one has one of each. Oh no, you're right. The the pink is the white and the pink is the not white quite, chocolate. Almost. The, the gold is the dark chocolate and the purple is the is the milk chocolate. Yeah, the dark purple yeah. Oh, it's a little game. Little game, game. yeah. I thought I bought a lip balm. I don't know where I put it. Little ball yeah. game. I could get a mix. <laughs> well, I could do this. Could get one of these. 
take out my favorites. And Do the rest of me? <laughs> no. 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 And I can take some next Thursday at Bible study when we. Oh, yeah, that's my, right, huh? My time to bring snacks. There's a good idea. Okay. Now we're ready. Alrighty. Okay, thank you. Thanks for the morning. <laughs> I'll move your stool out of my way oh, then. Oh, you're gonna oh, pay with it with my money I put in your bank account. Look at that. That was your fault. How nice. <laughs> it was. It was I accidentally put it in the wrong account. <laughs> oh. yeah, we're doing our birthday tour today, so Oh, Hi, there you go. And my day started out bad, so I get two things. Oh, good. I got two <laughs> great things. So. Oh, this, I am addicted to this. It's good I stuff. don't drink a lot of coffee, but oh my gosh, this stuff, I, wow. It yeah. is. It is. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. But when, if you're going to drink coffee, that's the way to go. Huh. It's, it's, I, yeah, I maybe have a cup of coffee a week. Maybe. Oh, really? That's it? Uh, yeah. I have one a day. 44 I'm, 50 okay. Maybe have one a week, and, but this is, when I want coffee, this is what I'm craving. There you go. The yes. huckleberry. It is so oh, good. Oh, lip balm. Yes. We should get you some lip balm. You probably well, need I some. I have some somewhere. I know I bought one before. But I know I, I got the little bad and tried it, and I thought, this is probably going to be gross. A fruit-flavored coffee? That sounds disgusting. No, oh, it was addictive. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> it is so good. <laughs> I'm not a coffee drinker, so I just have to take your word for it. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. worth trying. More for me. More for me. Yeah, I, I better not. Maybe the next batch. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And oh. signature on that one, please. She said, put her, the money in there, so I was going <laughs> to... <laughs> no, it's a joint bank account, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> so it doesn't yeah. matter. Our accounts are joint. We just... Do you want the receipt with you or in the bag? Uh, the bag's fine. Okay. Thanks a lot. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Have a great birthday. Thank Take care. Thank you. You too. Uh, but I want a case and I'd like that. The case and try that barbecue sauce. There are a couple there barbecue sauce. Yeah, you want to see we it? We had some one. Oh, okay. We, we've had a lot of them. That's right. It doesn't taste so good in spaghetti. It's too bright. But it's delicious, like on chicken or something that you can put a sweet sauce on. Uh huh. Really good. Later. Okay, this is this is what Christy this is what Christie's pies look like, the individual size. These are nice because they'll fit in the small toaster oven to cook. So. Well, so one of them's a taco pie. Yes. The other is spaghetti pie. I'm going to eat the spaghetti pie. I'm guessing this is the spaghetti pie and this is the taco pie. That kind of like it has taco seasoning on it, doesn't it? Yes. Okay. So that's my guess. This should be pretty cool. And I just... Yeah, so we're, we're just going to... Um, there's the instructions. Okay, in the oven they go. Well... The air, the, what do you call this thing, air fryer oven? Well, it's, it's a toaster oven, but you can toaster use oven. air fryer, you can dehydrate, you can um, rotisserie, um, then it has the, like, you can make a small roast, warm mm -hmm. pizza, broil, just does a lot of things. So I like it because I can use it very versatile. 20 minutes later. Yeah, that's what, that's when he jumped up and. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. Let's see. Looks good. There's dinner. We'll find oh, out for sure. Look at you can see. I think the that one's of, mine. Oh yeah, that's that's. I'm pretty almost positive this is the spaghetti one and this is the taco one. I've had the taco one before. That's the one we got the very first time we went mm -hmm. there. I got two taco ones. But you didn't like it. Um, the taco one? Yes, yeah. because of some of the contents in it. Uh, I mean, it was good. I, I thought it was delicious. So I didn't mind that you didn't like yours because I just ate half of mine. Yeah. And then I um, put the rest in the freezer. And I think I put the rest of yours in the freezer. And then when I wanted more taco pie, I pulled out a half a pie and 
It sounded like a good idea though. Let's see what it's like on the inside. Okay. Bowl or plate? Um, I can, I'd use something as a coaster need out of, out of the aluminum foil. Well, I think this is perfect. Okay, then that'll okay. work. Okay. So, let me it get another. goes in there. I'm missing one of my pot holders. So. What, the um, R2D2 ones? No, one of these. I have two of these. Oh. I love these. I mean, it's time to wash it again. Okay, here's that one pie. Here's the other pie. The other pie. And then this I'll have a fork. Okay. So what am I just Cut it in half? Um, you just, just, just pierce it and we'll see what's inside. It should be spaghetti noodles or something. I see something white. Yep, that's oh, the spaghetti. Yay. We were right. This is yours. This is okay. spaghetti. And then this one is going to be taco. And it has the taco oh, filling yeah. in it. Definitely. Yeah, see, so it's got like black olives and it's got cheese. There's a piece of corn. Mm -hmm. I think, if I remember right, they put beans in them and onion and carrot just, or something. Not what carrot, but it oh. does have corn in it. I like got the corn it. in it. The corn tastes delicious. Here, this is yours. All right. This is mine. So, this is my birthday dinner. For tonight again I got these at Birdie's pie shop in Hayden um, there's also one in Post Falls and I've never been to the one in Post Falls but there is one in Post Falls and they have different pies uh, each day so you might go one time and they'll have a cottage pie and a chicken pot pie and um, you know so but so they don't always have these pies uh, so you have to kind of go and see what's available for the day and then you kind of get to choose from there. Look, they sent us a recipe too. It's for caramel. Yes. If you bring your phone up, you might be able to scan that barcode for some really cool things. Yep. You never well, know. Well, it's to leave a review. Oh. So, yep. If you're in Hayden or Coeur d'Alene area, check out Birdies. It is good. It is a good pie shop, but just remember that. The pies, when you get these pies, they are not hot, they're cold. So you will need a way to heat it up to, um, and it's in aluminum foil. So remember that you can't just pop them in a microwave, but you can get microwavable bowls, take it out of the aluminum foil, put it in the microwave bowl, pop, pop it in the microwave. It's not going to be as good a quality because microwaves um, make things more soggy. Yeah. In a minute, and we're going to see their dessert pies, too. So, yep, as soon as we're done with these, we will, well, it'll be a while, but we'll we'll pull out the dessert pies and check those out a little closer here in a little bit. All righty. What is that? Um, bon, not bonjour. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. <laughs> bon appetit. Bonjour. <laughs> Four moments later. Okay, so we ate our pies. Um, I asked David how his pie tasted. Dave, how did your pie taste? Uh, that was definitely doable again. It was so simple. It was like it was like wrapping your spaghetti in your garlic toast. It was nice. <laughs> so he really liked his spaghetti pie. I, of course, I ate half of my taco pie. It was delicious. Um, I have one more free freebie that I'm gonna go get, that we're gonna go get. That's why it's dark, I apologize, we're in the car. We're um, taking Sea Biscuit over to get to Dairy Queen to get, they have a thing where you buy one blizzard, you get one free. So we're gonna go get our free blizzards. Um, just so you don't think I'm eating a ton of sugar, we decided to save our dessert pies for a later date. Um, probably tomorrow maybe. And then, um, or we will eat the dessert pies, but we'll just bring the blizzards home and shove them in the freezer. 
the shake I ate, I, I ate, I drank about a half an inch of this shake, but it's not gone to waste. It's in the freezer. Um, I usually, because I can't handle too much sugar at a time, so I do usually um, eat just a little bit of things like that. I'll eat just a little bit and I'll put it in the freezer and then I'll eat a little bit more and put it in the freezer. So it's just going to be like ice cream. So, um, I, I, yeah, it'll take me quite a while to eat all of this. There's so much sweets. I did not have any of the candy, the truffles from the Huckleberry place. Um, I do have them, but I haven't had any of them and I probably, it, it's probably going to be a while before I have any of those. So, uh, it's, Dave will tell you that I get stuff and I'm sorry it's bouncy but I buy things to eat but I can eat so little that um, it, it takes me forever to get to go get through something it really it I have a lot of food sadly that goes bad but a lot of that usually is just because the size it comes in is more than I can eat so um, yeah, so a lot of the stuff I have, it, it's going in the freezer, the taco pie, I ate half of it. Um, it didn't have a bottom crust either, so the only crust on it was the top, so that's the only part I ate that had a crust. Uh, Dave said his had a bottom crust, but mine did not, um, but it was full of meat and cheese, lots of cheese, cheesy goodness, cheese, and... Um, then it had the it had some beans in it and some um, black olives and some um, corn and then taco seasoning. So it was delicious, just very delicious. To me. It's better than a taco to me. So. So what are the dessert pies we got? The dessert pies that I picked out. One of them, it's I don't know if it's just a peanut butter pie or if it's chocolate peanut butter. Um, it had Reese's Pieces on top, and then it also had some broken up Reese's Peanut Butter Cups on top. So that, it'll be interesting to find out if it's just peanut butter or if it's chocolate and peanut butter. And then the other one is a banana cream pie. So, but, um, which I'm thinking I probably should eat my pie tonight, but I, even that, I can't eat the whole thing. Maybe Keely will eat half of it for me or something. I'll find out. So that's going to be dessert and then my blizzard I will just pop it in the freezer and save it for another day, another night. But um, this is not how we normally eat, I promise you. This is just everything that seems like all the freebies are sweets. So um, yeah, so that's just a lot of sweets. And then I did get I haven't received it yet, but I have something coming from Ulta. Um, that, thank goodness it's not a sweet, it's not food, but I do have something coming from Ulta. So I got a, a lot of good little freebies today, and I, ha in fact, I haven't even taken a sip yet of my my tea from Starbucks. That was the first thing I picked up, and that's the one thing I, I, I haven't even touched. So. Um, but it's been a good day. It started out not good, but so far it's ending. It's ending nice. I'm getting to spend it with Dave and, and, um, you know, kind of just enjoying things together. Been enjoying the afternoon and evening together, shopping and, and, uh, everything we usually do though. We, we actually usually enjoy shopping together, but there's sometimes he doesn't want to go shopping. I just go by myself. There are sometimes I just don't want to go shopping like 90% of the time and he goes by himself and he does the shopping so he does most of our grocery shopping but it's still fun we do go shopping and do things together sometimes we didn't bring Odin with us now but and he's gotten his treats too he got us a puppuccino and he got some fries. oh some fries because <laughs> David's lunch from Del Taco came with fries and he can eat some fries and they don't bother his blood sugars, but, but he still can eat a lot. So he shared those with Odin and, um, so Odin got a puppuccino and he got fries. And so he's, he's spoiled. He's, <laughs> he's, I'm surprised he's been losing weight because he's spoiled, but we're trying to not feed him like that. 
and most days he does not eat like that. He just eats his dog food. But there are just times when you got to give him a treat. So he, he gets his treat. Anyway. This is the only sweets so, I'm going to eat today. I haven't had anything sugary thing today. That's true. And the only thing I've had is, is just that little bit of that shake. Yeah, true. Just that little, like, like I said, it was only like a half inch. It, it was very little. Oh, look. Pumpkin shake. pie blizzard. <laughs> oh my cinnamon roll Pumpkin. center blizzard Ooh. <laughs> so the biz blizzard flavors yeah mm, um thank goodness i can put it in the freezer <laughs> anyway off to get our blizzards <laughs> Okay, so we went to get our blizzards, um, and um, <laughs> for, for some reason, my blizzard was like this much taller than Dave's. I don't know if maybe because they knew it was my birthday, so they gave me the bigger one, or, oh, sorry, because two people were making them, and one gave us more than the other gave us, so... I got more than Dave. That's okay, because Dave, Doesn't <laughs> um, yeah, I don't either, but mine will last me quite a few desserts, <laughs> so it's going to be there for a while. I did end up um, eating the top part of my blizzard, so that, and with that, I am stuffed eating that, just the top part of it, and then I put some plastic on it, put it in the freezer, so mine's already in the freezer, but the cool thing is we got home. And my package from Ulta, which I wasn't expecting to get until, I think it was Saturday or Mondays when it said it was supposed to come. Um, and, but it, but it was here. So when we got home, Dave's like, I walked in the house and I didn't even see it at first. And Dave's like, there's a package here. And he says, Oh, it's your package from Ulta. So your Ulta order came. So I was very surprised. So I did cut it open, but I haven't pulled anything out. Um, I haven't looked inside of it yet, but I do know what I got. These are my birthday presents to myself. So, <laughs> so I did get a lot of gifts. I got um, the coffee and the candy, the huckleberry, and of course going out to eat with Dave and everything. Although that was a lot of it was free and stuff, but... Um, I also got, um, ew, my hair looks horrible. Anyway, um, I had also got a, a food vacuum sealer to, uh, so I could vacuum seal, like, cause I, I, I like to buy in bulk. So I usually buy in bulk and then I have to put it in the baggies and seal each baggie and write on it and everything. And, and I can never get all the air out. You know how it is. So I was watching a YouTube video and she vacuum sealed a lot of, she would get food in bulk and she would vacuum seal it. And I thought, well, that's a good way to go. So Dave let me buy myself a vacuum sealer and some, some refill bags and stuff like that in a canner so I can actually, um, do dry, uh, dry canning, you know, where you just things like beans and and you know dried beans not cooked but dried beans and and marshmallows which we don't use but <laughs> just dry goods so i can i can uh, i got the attachment to do jars so i can do dry goods in jars and then i have the vacuum sealer so i can vacuum seal uh stuff i can buy stuff in bulk and then vacuum seal it because even if I buy one roast, one roast for just Dave and I is a lot. So usually I just cut it in half and then I freeze each half or I freeze half and make the other half. Well, this way I can vacuum seal it and it, and it does even better than just freezing it in the Ziploc baggies. So I got that. But from my Ulta order, I got, uh, these are my favorite bath bombs. Um, the, they're the bomb band, brand and each one has a little um fun surprise inside sometimes it's like a little trinket 
like a little charm you can put on a bracelet or something. Sometimes it's a little toy, so sometimes it's for, you know, for kids, but they're also for adults. I mean, they have like adult ones that tequila or not tequila, but like a daiquiri or something like that. I wouldn't give that to a child for sure, but some of them, they have Barbie and Hot Wheels, so those would be for a child. Here's a fairy bomb, so I have that one. These are ones I've never had any of these, so I don't know what comes in them. Um, this is Flower Bomb. And I, I don't get myself these very often. I just, when I get them, I, I order usually five or six at a time. And then, um, and you know, they last me. But if I ever want to take a, a, a bath with a bath bomb, I usually have one on hand. Here is Glam Bomb. Did you get it? No. Um, this one is Earth Bomb. Uh, so we'll look at those later to see what I get. Now with, um, and then this, uh, okay, let's see. Now with Ulta, uh, like I said, I only order a couple times a year and I have it delivered. And sometimes they have a special offer where if you, um, by the way, this is my, um, my, uh, birthday gift. This was what I got for my birthday. So I will have to try it out, but it's the deep rally prime. Don't look at my face. Don't look at my face. There you go. Well, still furry, fuzzy, sorry, furry. Anyway, it says it's the prep rally prime and prep detangler. So that'll be interesting to check out and to try it out. Um, and then with Ulta, sometimes if you spend so much money, you get, they'll send you some gifts. And so what they sent me this time is a, this is cute. It's a little biolage, um, kit with, with the hair, biolage hair stuff in it. And then it has the, the little cosmetic bag, which is a really adorable cosmetic bag i really like that this is actually going to be perfect for our cruise to hawaii if we ever get to take one then they also sent me some samples so i do know they they do send samples sometimes and this one i have no idea what's in it but it looks like it's just a bunch of samples a lot of it's probably not something i would use i have so many perfume samples it's not funny uh, just because I rarely, rarely use perfume. But sometimes I get some really good ones that I, I like. I've gotten masks and stuff like that from them too. So, um, yeah. So, I got, I wasn't even expecting this. This, I didn't even know was going to be in here. So, that's a nice little surprise too. So, I have to say my birthday didn't start out good. It's kind of, it was kind of, I, I was sad. I admit, I was sad. I was bummed that it was just starting out and it was not my day. But... It has um, just slowly become my day to day, and just getting, you know, the little things I got, and and getting all the bath bombs and stuff like that. Just getting it early, and then getting, you know, it just, it's just it turned into a good day, and I'm happy. I'm excited. Maybe I'll end it with a nice bath bomb bath. I don't know. <laughs> First, I have to like get unpool because. As I said, I am stuffed. Oh my gosh, I am so full. And um, there's the sweet stuff that's going to last me a long time because I can never eat very much of it and then I'm done. So that's it. That was my birthday. Happy birthday to me today. Um, usually I don't celebrate. So this was kind of a, a big deal for me is to say, hey, you know what? Today's my birthday. I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to celebrate it. I'm going to embrace it. Usually it's like, oh, was it my birthday today? Okay, good night. You know, and that's it. No, nope. today I just said I was going to celebrate it. I was going to enjoy it. I was um, possibly, um, a lot of that was probably due to getting to celebrate my aunt's last birthday with her and uh, realizing that you never know when you'll never get another chance. And with my aunt, I had that last chance to celebrate her birthday with her. I celebrate other people's birthdays with them all the time. And 
we have to love ourselves too. We, we can't, it, it's so easy for us to tell other people we love them. It's so hard to look ourselves in the mirror and tell ourselves that we love ourselves. It's hard to do. It's, it seems, um, you know, so a lot of people can't do it. It's, it's hard to do, but I have to remember that I need to love myself. You each need to love yourselves as well. That, um, God made us just the way we are. God doesn't make mistakes. We make mistakes sometimes, but God still loves us. And if we ask him to, he will forgive us. And we have to realize we're not perfect. None of us are. Everybody makes mistakes. And um, we just have to accept that, yeah, we're not perfect. We make mistakes. But that doesn't mean that we're not lovable and that we're not worthy of love. So you all have a good evening. Thank you for celebrating my birthday with me today in my video. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye. Okay, so we just left Del Taco. At Del Taco, I got two Del Tacos, um, which you get those if you download the app, and then you can save it. You don't have to use it right away, so I saved it uh, after I downloaded the app. But then also, because of my birthday, I got a cool free... Whoops. Not, not there. Let's try this again.